We come to this place for magic. We watched a few show to laugh, to cry, to care. Because we need that, all of us. That indescribable feeling when the lights begin to dim. And we go somewhere we've never been before. Not just entertained, but somehow reborn together. Dazzling images on your teacher's bibliotech. Sounds you can barely hear. Somehow, heartbreak feels good in a place like this. Our heroes feel like the best part of us, and stories feel perfect and powerful. Because here, they are. The Few Show. We make networking better. What's up, gamers? I guess the story is that uh, people know that I do my own hair, and if you didn't, well, I do a great job of it. And so a student volunteered to say, hey, I want to look as good as you. I'm not sure what his name is, but come on up here real quick. Appreciate it, Mr. Ross. Yeah. Right. I'm about to get butchered. I'm about to get butchered. It's not looking good. Okay. Yeah. A little off the top, a little off the sides. Sure. He's more lost than I am. I am more lost than he is. <laughs> Okay. I'm really scared right now. <laughs> I'm so finished. Get my... Hear that? <laughs> I hear it. Go to town. All right. So, uh, again, I don't know what I'm doing. I can't believe you agreed to do this. Yeah, me neither, but 20 bucks is 20 bucks. I'm so lost right now. I don't know. <laughs> How do you feel about bowl cuts? Am I getting a bowl cut? <laughs> no. So, should we schedule Mr. Rocky in for next week? I think I'm Mr. gonna Rock, retire don't do it. this. 20 bucks is not worth it. The What's up, Mr. Rock? <laughs> They're trying to get you in this chair next. <laughs> is it that bad? Oh. You wanna step in? We having a funeral? Yeah, sure. Come on, come, come over. Why not? Okay. I got benched, just like Dak's gonna get benched. Oh, yeah, Dak yeah. is not gonna get benched. He's not even sharp. Oh god, there's hair everywhere. Um. Okay, it's not as bad as I initially thought. Oh, thank God. Um. I wasn't finished, you know. I know, but it's like these aren't even sharp. Don't watch the Titanic, you know. It's like the haircut, it's just gonna go down. I think that's about it. It's just a matter of like brushing all the hair off. Mm-hmm. These are not sharp. Alright, we're just gonna clean up here. Around the ears. You know, it's a lot of hair. Try not to let it fall in there. I think you're a brave soul for letting somebody else who doesn't know what they're doing cut their hair. Yeah, well, they had to get their cotton somehow. Way to make the few show. <laughs> After the holidays, it's always difficult for me to fully recuperate, you know? Between December 25th and January 1st, it's finally a time where I get to be myself. Usually, I begin with a complete purge of all holiday related things. My uh, methodology can be a tad extreme which has major consequences on my physical health.
With that all sorted out, I make myself a nice cup of coffee to try and rekindle that jolly spirit of mine. It does help distance myself from any reminders of the holiday season. Even after all these years of experience, it's still a difficult adjustment, but I always handle it pretty well. <laughs> Nevertheless, I can finally settle down and turn in a nice whimsical film. Anyways, it's time to start prepping for 2024. So, uh, what's everyone's New Year's resolutions? I think I'm gonna bulk up and go to the gym this year. That's cool. What's up, Jim? What's up, bro? I think it's a great year to learn how to cook, right? You know, money is tight, so I might get a couple jobs. Uh, sorry, I was just eavesdropping over there, but those resolutions suck. Welcome everyone to the first ever New Tech Marble Race. I'm your host, Caleb Narrowpath. And today, we have a thrilling event to introduce. What sport would prove more daring than marble racing? We've set up two lovely tracks today. The first of which you are seeing is the esteemed Whataburger Way. And with this being the first of New Tech's marble races, we have decided it best that our school's amazing networkings represent our racers. Our track will see two rounds of racers, of which we will keep track of when they cross the finish line first. Our top three racers from each round will face off in a timed challenge on the famed Turbulent Tubes racetrack. So sit back, relax, and get ready for the most exciting networking marble race in New Tech history. Our first competitors include Kitchen Impossible, Granado Ramsey, Ken Dolls, Rocks, Porzy Hut, Broad Street Life in the Dream House, Vasque and the Furlius, Uglo's Radiant Sunshine, Princess Boyd, and Arroyo in Wonderland. And they're off! It really only seems to be a two-man race here as Granado Ramsey and Rox fly ahead. Rox barely seems to scratch out of first place with Granado Ramsey right behind. And Kitchen Impossible makes it into the top three of this first round with a solid finish. We even had a DNF with Uglo's Radiant Sunshine getting sadly stuck on the beginning obstacle. And here are our scores as we begin to set up for the second round of Whataburger Way. Reminder, our top three finalists of each round will battle it out on our final track, Turbulent Tubes. And here we go for our second and final round of Whataburger Way. Harris Potter streamlines right down the middle of the track, easily achieving a first place finish. Followed by both Teenage Mutant Ninjatha Turtles and then Spider-Man War from Homes. Now that that is over, we will see you later on for the final race, Turbulent Tubes.
Soggy cereal here. Soggy? I don't want no soggy cereal. Man, I'm out of here. Welcome back, everyone. We are starting off immediately here with our first racer. Our six racers will be trying their hardest to get through this track the quickest to claim ultimate marble bragging rights. Smooth sailing here as our first marble gets a clean jump onto the lower platform. Next up is our second marble. Let's see if they can beat first marble's time. I'm telling you that deadly jump might spell end game for some of our marbles here today. And now we move on to our third marble. We still have another trio to witness. And here we go, starting off our second three. They seem to be going well. Let's see how. Oh my goodness! They flow off the track! What did I tell you? I knew that jump would be do or die for some of our marbles today. Now we move on to our next marble. And after what we just witnessed, I'm extremely nervous to see if they make it through this track. And they do! A very clean and respectable attempt. And now we come to our final marble. Let's see what magic our final racer will cook up. And a very simple race to end us off. Here are our final scores and our winners. Congrats to all who competed today and thank you all for tuning in. We will see you next time for another New Tech Marble Race. I'm Caleb Narrowpath, signing off.